Hi there and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. Today, we're checking out all these wiring options. When fitting a Haltech engine management system to your car, there's a range of different wiring methods. And the wiring method you choose depends on the type of the car you're working on. We'll start with the plug and pin set. This is a bare connector set that you'd crimp onto wiring that you'd supply. It might be re-terminating a factory wiring harness into a Haltech ECU connector or making a beautiful motorsport Tevcel wiring harness with the fancy heat shrink. In order to crimp the pins onto the wire ends that you supply, you have to use the right crimper. And we have done a video on crimping, so have a look at that to make sure you get the right crimper for the right pin. Without the right crimpers, it's impossible to make a beautiful crimp and to get them into these connector reliably. So please have a quick look at the crimping video as well. Next up, we've got a basic flying lead wiring harness. This is a two and a half meter long wiring harness that's already got the pins crimped onto one end of all of these 60 uniquely colored wires. We call it a flying lead because at the ECU end, all our connections are already done, whereas the engine side is open or, or, or flying or flying lead. This is what you'd wire into your application. So this style of wiring harness is typically used with a Haltech ECU in conjunction with a factory ECU. So you would piggyback and share all the wires between the factory computer or as a standalone ECU where all the power wiring in the car has already been done or is being managed by a separate power distribution module. So you don't need a fuse box or relays or anything like that. Moving across to our premium flying lead harness. So this thing's also two and a half meters long, but differs from the basic kit because it includes a fuse box and relay assembly in here. Uh, this harness is used as a fresh install where there's no engine harness or power distribution module. All the power circuits are wired through the fuses and the relays, cutting down on installation time. This is probably our, one of our most popular installation methods because plug straight into your Haltech ECU, we've got all your fuses and relays for your injectors, your ignition system, your fuel pump. You can add a couple of extra ones for thermo fans or electronic water pumps or any extra stuff in the car you've got to run. Plug it into your ECU, then two and a half meters out the other side, flying lead to wire up to your engine. Um, this is a fairly complex style of installation and does require a fair bit of labor. So if you're lucky enough to have an engine that we make a terminated harness for, it's a great option. It's a fully terminated engine harness that plugs into all your factory connectors. You just need to connect the power, the ground, the ignition, and she's ready to start and run. Uh, we do leave a lot of extra inputs and outputs into the loom, so you have that added flexibility to change things wherever you need. Because we know that every installation, especially in our sort of custom world, is not gonna be exactly the same. This thing also has the integrated fuse box assembly. Uh, when ordering one of these harnesses, please make sure to match up the exact engine you have with the terminated loom descriptions. Some manufacturers change connectors and sensors so frequently that there's a bunch of different looms to suit almost the same variant of engine. Next up, we've got one of the easier styles of installations. Um, it's probably the most popular of the patch harness style and it's our adapter harness kit. This is a short adapter harness that has a female factory ECU connector on one side and a Haltech ECU connector on the other side. Simply remove the factory computer, plug the adapter harness in, then plug your Haltech ECU in. Load a base map straight out of the software and you're ready to tune. Uh, using an adapter harness is a really clean and simple installation method, but it does require your factory wiring harness to be in really good shape. If the car has problems in the factory wiring harness, fitting an adapter harness is not going to fix the problem. It'd be best to replace the harness with another factory one or remove it altogether and fit one of our flying lead harnesses. So in summary, if you're building a full motorsport harness or you're repinning your nice clean factory harness to just put Haltech ECU connectors on it and away you go, you're after a plug and pin set. If you're wiring into a factory harness that the car already has, so sharing all of the sensors and taking control of the fuel and ignition away from a factory computer, or the car's already got its power distribution already set up and all we need to do is take all the sensors and control the injectors and the coils, a basic wiring harness is for you.
You need a premium wiring harness if you've got no power distribution in the car because this will allow us to put fuses and relays in for fuel pumps, ignition, injectors, ECU power, thermofan power, and it's already pre-wired on the ECU end. Still flying lead on the other side that you can wire out to your engine. If you're doing a full engine conversion and you're lucky enough to have a terminated harness that we do, buy a terminated harness, plug it all in, and away you go. The most popular, our patch harness method, if it's a factory car that was running on a factory ECU and then you've put injectors and turbos and pumps and all the good stuff on it, patch harness kit, unplug the factory computer, plug this one in, load the base map, hit the key, get it tuned, and you're good to go. I hope this has cleared up the maze of install options. Catch you next week.